Amphitheaters date way back to Greek and Roman times and were thought to be the best way to see a performance. It's the building design that we still see in use today, and for good reason. Your pick for Minnesota's best amphitheater is right here in the metro, where, as Chris Schaefer shows us, things have been known to get a little wild. For almost 40 years, the Minnesota Zoo has brought us all the sights, smells, and sounds that one might expect from a world-class venue. Yet on certain summer days, what? when the crowds have left, the animals have bedded down, and day turns to night, there are strange sounds coming from the zoo that might cause any average person to jump right out of their seats. This is the Wiesner Family Amphitheater at the Minnesota Zoo. Rocking the house tonight, the B-52s. There's just no other venue like this where you can see, you know, the guitar strings on trigger, Willie Nelson's guitar. Leave your binoculars at home. Of the 1,400 or so seats, there's not a bad one in the house. But there was a time when this rockin' venue was strictly for the birds. Say hi to Coconut. Hi, Coconut. The World of Birds show was one of the main reasons for the construction of the Wiesner in 1992. Already on his way. <laughs> With three shows a day, people flocked to see them. But even so, many felt this beautiful bowl in the woods was underutilized. And the genius behind this was her vision of seeing how this bird show amphitheater could turn into a great place to see music. So the zoo took a gamble and formed a partnership with an up-and-coming music promoter named Sue McLean. Artists really learned to trust that if it was a Sue McLean event that they were well taken care of. And suddenly the zoo was the hip place to be. We are really trying to broaden our demographic, which is why Sue, Sue McLean and Associates have really worked hard to get a diverse lineup these last couple of years. One, two, this year marks the 25th anniversary of Music in the Zoo, which means these guys have done this hundreds of times for dozens of artists, from Adele to Martin Zeller, and they know that the boss is watching, albeit from perhaps a higher vantage point than before. The stage was dedicated in 2013. Uh, when one of her favorite artists and friends, Lyle Lovett, was here. Sue McLean was taken from us that year, and her niece, Pat McLean, jumped in head first and so far hasn't missed a beat. And I know Sue felt this too, but just being side stage and when the artist gets on stage in that first five minutes, that's when it really hits home. Home. That's what this place feels like to many. And it's about as close to watching a concert in your backyard as you're ever going to get. And you can just have that intimacy here and you you know look up and see the moon and the stars and the the water a mantra that we carry on her legacy is live music is good for your soul and we live that every day on behalf of sue mclean and associates and the minnesota zoo we are the best amphitheater in One of the best things about this concert series is that they bring in big time artists whose music doesn't necessarily fit or play well in the big arenas. Yeah, it's such a great venue. It is. Uh, some of the upcoming, uh, upcoming shows include Natalie Merchant, Robert Cray, and Johnny Lang. Well, next Wednesday at 10, we're going to discover Minnesota's best cheese curds, and we need your help in finding some other favorites for next month. So we're looking for the best sand volleyball league, the top outdoor skate park, your favorite bagel shop and the best bait shop in Minnesota. So please share your picks with us right now on our Facebook page or tweet them to at WCCO.